Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Iron Panther Presents. Uh, today, Stacey and I shall be discussing Your Honor, uh, episode eight of this 10 episode uh, miniseries, which really, again, they're stretching this shit out way too much. This is turning to the undoing, like in WandaVision and all these shows that are supposed to be a two, maybe a two and a half hour movie. That would be a great movie. Well, you're stretching it out unnecessarily and you get a lot of dumb shit like COVID-19 for no reason. Um, but what are your thoughts, uh, uh, Stacey, on this COVID special? The COVID special with one juror with a mask. How does that work? I don't get it. And the stenographer. If you look, if you look behind uh, the lawyers as they're giving the opening, the opening statements, the, the stenographer, white woman, she's also wearing a mask. Which they're the only two in this entire courtroom wearing a mask because they believe in COVID. Yeah. No social distancing going on with the jury. They're right next to each other. The judge doesn't wear a mask when he comes down to talk to them to give them the rah rah speech of what the Constitution means. Later on, the whole family, Mike, Adam, and the whole freaking crew are out there in a packed restaurant during COVID. Mm -hmm. What? Then juror Miss uh, Longwood or whatever, uh, the, the one juror who obviously was the one who wrote the notes, takes off her mask to protest to Mike about why she would not be intimidated, sir, that's the thing. Like, whenever I see these videos where people get in arguments about people not wearing masks, they take off their mask to argue with the person that's not wearing a mask. And like, doesn't this defeat the whole point of this? <laughs> I was, I just could not, I'm like, there is blackish, your honor, um, this is for us. life, for life. This is us. This is us. I'm assuming they do more than just one episode with This Is Us, though. Yeah. I, I've seen COVID a few times, right? Mm -hmm. So far, one, This Is Us is, is one of the best written shows on television, period. You know, and they're consistent that COVID doesn't go away after your COVID episode. But all these other dumbass shows, they're like, we're going to do it for one good episode. Just to let you know that we acknowledge that we're not tone deaf to the situation. That magically everybody's going to be have COVID vaccines by next week. Bet. Fuck. It was just it was just so distracting. Um, anyway, Carlos on trial. Um, I like I like the the defense's story because it's true. Everything that lawyer said is true. At the time that Carlo killed Kofi, he believed that Kofi killed his brother. Everybody believed it, except for the ones who know who actually did it. But the, all the Baxters believed that Kofi actually did it. And he came to him, which I still don't understand. Like, why, why would you work to the man who's been trying to kill you all day? Like, if you were just going to die for, for the sake of your family, you could have killed, he could have killed himself in his, in his cell. A much, much, much more humane than probably Col uh, that, that, uh, that Carlo was going to do to him. So I don't even understand that. But everything that the, the prosecutor said was true. I, I thought. So I, it'd be interesting to see how the court, how the, how the case goes. Um, what do you think of the prosecution or defensive argument? Do you think they made sense? I mean, yeah. Kind of. Like when she called the gay member to the stand to try to guess, I guess, give this narrative that Carlo is just this awful person that is racist and beats up black people all willy nilly. Um, What's wrong? I'm sick of the show. What? I'm, I'm just tired of it. I'm just tired of watching it. I'm tired of just, uh, just, just can we kill Adam already? Just kill Adam and then blame Adam. Like, look, my son did it. Just go kill him so we can move on because Adam is a piece of shit. I don't even care about the trial because, like, <sighs> we're assuming that he's just going to throw the trial. Like, whatever the jur jury says, he's going to just say, oh, well, we're just going to overthrow the jury. Like, is that what's going to happen? No. So... So let, let's so, okay. So let's let's look at the trial thing, right? 
So if the whole point was that like Michael was going to help the Baxters like throw the trial, right? They uh-huh. should have did what they did in, in, in Power Book 2. And I can't believe I'm about to use them as a good example. But when they were going through pre-trial motions and they were picking the jury, right? And Davis and Sachs were working together to stack the jury in, you know, in favor of Tasha, basically, right? Mm-hmm. They should have showed that, that, that the Baxter lawyer and Mike were basically trying to shape the jury in favor of, of, of you know, of, of, the, of, the, of the son, of Carlo. Because they could, because like, if you say, okay, this, guy, this, this white kid is accused of beating to death, beating to death a black kid, right? Then the Baxter lawyer should be like, we want, for some reason, they feel race drives everything. We want no black people on the jury. Just look at the O.J. Simpson trial. We want no mm-hmm. black people on the jury. In New Orleans. And I, you know, you know, again, but I'm saying the, you could have showed that, right? That like. I'm glad they didn't show that because it was annoying in power and it would be even more annoying on this show for them to just sit there and just pick who they want to play. Like, it would have been too obvious. Well, it's always- it was obvious as hell in power. It was obvious as hell in this show because they kept on focusing on this one juror to be like every she cried and she and why does it have to be the black woman like that is a stereotype in and of itself to be like she she's because she black and she wants she look at this poor boy and be like oh he died he reminds me of my child I can't let this white man not not go to jail all you need is one juror to say not guilty and it's done that's all you need. There's, if you want to make this a race issue, there's several white people in that jury that they could have focused on to be like, all we need is just one of them to be like, I would have been scared of Kofi if Kofi killed my brother and then I ended up in prison with him and he came to my cell, I would have killed him too. See, I thought they would probably do like the juror, like they pick a juror and then they intimidate the juror some type of way to like we got something on you or somebody you love yeah. or something, Yeah. whatever you do, just not get to. And that's that. That's much easier. It's much easier. And if you tell Mike, hey, Mike, you just be the judge. We'll take care of this shit. Just don't look into it when two of your jurors are like, yeah, not guilty. You know, but we got video evidence. It don't matter. Not guilty. Like, you know, we, that's how we feel. And that was right. You're right. I mean, that would have been much easier than the crap they're doing right now. They're trying to put it all on Mike. Right. Like, oh, don't show the photos because, it, you know, the juries are going to get upset if they see the photos. Like, that's what jurors and murder cases do. They see the photos. Like, I, it's, it, it, it was, it was, I, I thought, so I, I thought that, that the defense's case, the fact that they're going the race route, I was like, that's not what you do. You go, you, you acknowledge the fact that at the time, Kofi was, you know, uh, was accused and, uh, and confessed to killing this, this man's, the, 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 you know, Carlo's brother. Therefore, that is his motive. Like you take that away from the, pro- from, from the defense and be like, that's why he went in rage and killed this kid. Instead of being like, hey, I'm guards, I need help. He killed him in a rage and therefore it wasn't self-defense. It was revenge. That's still, that's, I think that would have been a better. Shouldn't the prosecution brought up the fact that he took the car the day after. So that implies that cops did any type of actual detective work to prove the fact that Co- Kofi didn't kill um, um, the kid in the first place. But like, they're just totally being like, no cops actually do cop work. Only only the criminals can figure out that Kofi stole the car after old boy was killed. What is his name? I feel bad. The kid that got killed. What's that kid's name? Kofi? No, no, oh, uh, the kid? Yeah. Baxter Child? Um, yeah, I, don't know. Shoot, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, damn. I mean, anyway, the Baxter son who got killed, like, like they were like uh, Rico, Rocco, Rocco, Rocco Baxter, Rocco Baxter. So if the, if the, if the prosecutor who's, you know, who's committed to make sure Carlo goes down, she could have got some super detective uh, back there, uh, uh, Fiona, to actually go back and reinvestigate and she easily could have found out that one Kofi couldn't have did it because the car was stolen after you know the you know the, the um uh, Rocco was, was killed it, either way I'm just saying I was who got to her phone who got to the to the, to the juror's phone because she generally was like 
I didn't do this. Like, are, are we supposed to believe that Mike picked this woman's phone up, did some, you did some tech searches and put it back? And is that what happened? Because we usually see the things, the stupid things that he does. I don't, I was like, anyway, anyway. So th that that's that's happening. Eugene shows up to the to the trial with Lee ne next to next to him. For what? What is Lee doing there? I, I can understand Eugene being there. That you know, that's that's her that's his brother's murderer who's on trial. He got up and ran out. I swore he was going to be like, Max has got to pay. And it was just going to ride out. That's going to be the hashtag for the videos from now on. Hashtag Max has got to pay because that's hilarious. He will kill one of them. Before, in the, before the next two episodes, he will kill one of those Baxters. I hope it's the mama. But he, he don't kill one. Huh? He don't kill Chet. Which one's that? Tom Hanks, son. <laughs> oh, stop, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Oh, I was like, he, he didn't kill one of the Baxter because he I, and he rightfully so needs to be like Max has got to pay. Um, so let's talk about him and Lee's confrontation. So Eugene is leaving, and he, she's like, he's like, fuck you. And she's like, fuck me in my ass. And I'm like, what? What? Like, how do we get there? Like, he said, he said she's he's staying with Lil Mo. So somehow she's like, you like Lil Mo now? I don't. I remember Lil Mo and Lee had a conversation. Well, he tried to intimidate her to a point. I don't remember him saying, I'm gonna fuck you in the ass. I, I don't I don't remember that. I don't know why that was necessary. Uh I thought that was a bit much to talk to a kid like that. Um, what's up with this baseball? Why is so much effort being put on this baseball? Is this gonna crack the case wide open? Is is, is that is that what we're doing? Probably. Let's get to inhaler. So Adam, being the piece of shit that he is is once again in the car with Fia, the sister of his victim. They continue to use their her, Rocco's murder as foreplay between these two people. I don't even understand that, okay. But then he's constantly sucking on the inhaler now. So what happened to the DNA test that Frankie was supposed to do on the inhaler that they found at the crime scene? What about that? What about Django coughing up brains? Like, what? Where's the bloody rag? Like, where's any type of forensics? Anything? Where is any of this? So where's let's that, get back to Jimmy. Where's Baxter. that imaginary black truck? I told you that shit's imaginary. You will see. It, you won't even see the truck again. Bet you won't even see the truck again. And then I will be right. Because you haven't seen, you haven't seen that truck again yet. But let's talk about Jimmy Baxter. Jimmy Baxter, all right? So we acknowledge in court that Carlo killed not one, but two Desire members. Right, Jimmy Baxter blew up an entire family house related to related to the desire. Why has he not put some kind of security on his one living child out outside of prison to be like, hey, I need to make sure my Fia is safe. Who's this man who's dating my my daughter? Like he makes no effort in any of this. Not thinking that the desire might make some kind of action towards her, so they might figure out that she's dating a guy named I don't know Adam who's like the son of the lawyer or the judge that they're trying to use to keep Carlo out of prison. Like some basic, and then, and then we got Adam's girlfriend uh, uh, who's like, oh, she has a uh, Freya, Fran what's her name? Franny, Franny. Franny finally realized, she hasn't realized in all these days or weeks, she hasn't been with her teenage lover at all, none of this, but all of a sudden she's like, I'm gonna quit my job and move to New York before I even know that you got a, a, a scholarship to New York. Why is this even a plot? Like him screwing his teacher? And she looks young, like how old is she? She's 20s, I'm sure she's in her 20s. Like 21, 22. What does it have to do with anything? Like we know Adam's crazy, like he got issues. Like, why do we, why do we need to Because see? she's the only one who made any effort to figure out what, 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 what Adam does in his spare time. And the fact that she chased him down and realizes he has another girlfriend. All I could think of was R. Kelly. Age ain't nothing but a number. Going down ain't nothing but a thing. This love I have for you would never change. That should have been a sign to all of us. What's going on between Leah and R. Kelly? I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, but I digress. Um. My point is somehow I'm hoping that Fiona looking into this 
is going to turn into her confronting Michael to be like, perhaps Adam is being influenced by this new girlfriend that he has. New girlfriend, you say? And then Charlie was like, so you got a girlfriend, right? Because why would you all of a sudden give up a, a, a school that you apply for for no reason? And somehow his dad hasn't figured that out? Like, he's like, what do you do in your spare time, Adam? You're not covering up murders and taking pic- forensic pictures of yourself. You killed somebody in New Orleans. A gang member's child in New Orleans. Why don't you want to get the fuck out of New Orleans? Because Fia is everything, even though he just met her. Tell Fia to apply to NYU and take her ass up there. No, he, he can't leave her because he has to go deep, not wide, which I thought was some kind of like symbolism for his penis. I really, I'm sorry. I, I just did. I'm sorry. It, 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 it didn't cross my mind. I was like, is he trying to go deep with her? Is he about to go deep? But he can't go wide? Is that what he's telling us? What's the point of any of this? Why are we even watching this shit right now? is pencil dick when you have the length but not the girth. Yeah, I think I think, I think he was just prepping um, I think he was just prepping it. We, we're going off track. <laughs> I, think, I think he was just like, look, girl, I only got so much. I just I try to let you know. Because my mama said... <laughs> All right, okay, okay. I'm, I'm getting... I'm getting my bad. My bad. I'm getting off track. <laughs> also, how many black people got to suffer for this fucking kid? Like, one black juror got kicked off. A black judge almost lost her job. Black kid got killed. Fuck the guy that was, like, like extorting them. I mean, he did it to himself. A whole family got blown up. The whole fa- a whole black family got blown up for Adam. He gives two fucks. He's like, I need to get in Fia. Like... And she's like, I'm sorry. I hope you don't like, I hope you don't mind my dead brother being here. He's like, no, I killed him. In fact, kissing me is like kissing your brother, right? What does she even mean? My brother didn't have a girlfriend. So now I'm living for both of us. Like what, what does that even mean? So are you dating men and women for your brother? Like, are you like, I, I got to go out there and sleep with women. So he could also have a girl. What does that even mean? They're both crazy. And then what I, I, she will be the one to kill Adam. That's why I'm, I'm hoping all this leads to that. That she's like, don't worry about it, daddy. I'm about this life. You don't need Carlo. You got me. And she just cuts Adam's throat and just and just, and just lets his boy bleed out. Like, and he's and he, then he really needs an inhaler. And like she's like, 60 inhaler down his throat and kills him. Like, that's how this needs to end. Or this has been a complete waste of our time. She is a decapitated. Damn. She was and driving like, the head up and like lick the blue bit. She's talking about uh, the oval, and we will get to that. <laughs> it's it's a wild shit, but but my, uh, let's let's get back on track. But I, I it just yeah, something needs to happen with this relationship because I'm really getting irritated with, with all this. Um, I'm so again, I'm so with the fact that Michael's ex mother in law once was like, who is this bitch sitting next to, at this table acting like she's one of us, Lee? Now all of a sudden she's packed Lee on the side like they friends, like she cool with it, like. And then the waitress is like, oh, Mrs. Desiato. What is it? Desiato. Name? Yeah, Desiato. And he's all like, <laughs> Desiato. I was like, you just replaced your wife that quick? Why has Adam not brought this up? Like, hey, dad, you know, mom died. He got his head too far up the other chick's ass to even pay attention. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he, he has his own love issues going on. Can't keep track of all these hoes, man. It's too, it's too hard. It's too much work. It's strong. It's hard out here being a pimp. That's, what, that's the short he needs to wear. <laughs> He's like, Dad, I got my teacher boning. I got the, the sister, the sister of my victim, out here trying to get it. It's hard, man. It's hard. So, apparently, he's over the guilt, though. He, he's definitely moved past the I killed someone. I got another kid murdered. He's definitely past that guilt, and he's moving he on. Gives zero fucks about anybody but himself. Not even his dad. His dad out here wilding out to keep him safe, and he's like, I don't. Hey, Dad. I, fuck college. The dog Hold was up. in danger. The dog was about to get killed. He like, oh, fuck Django. Well, well in, in, uh, in defense, he didn't. nobody knew the dog was in danger. The dog is dumb as shit. And, and I like, I like, so then my, again, I thought, what is the dog going to eat now? Is he somehow going to eat the shirt? Is he, is he going to eat the, eat the, uh, the NYU shirt? And then he's going to cough it up with more evidence that, that, uh, of, of somehow the crime with Rock, Rocco somehow, like, is that all going to come together for some reason? Where happened to the forensic photos that Adam took of himself 
and the crime scene. The teacher needs to find those and be like, uh, your son's a murderer. Did he give her the photos? I don't remember. Now, now that she, he's broken her heart, I want Fiona to give the photos to, to, to Mike and be like, you might want, want these. I just, I'm just saying. Or she becomes junior give them detective. To the cops. No, she sends it to, to Fia. Because like every other, because only civilians can figure out how crimes work. She figures out that, that that's the sister of the, of the boy that her ex-boyfriend killed. And she sends the photos to her. And she's like, mother. And then he ends up, there you go. There you go. That's how you tie this together. Because anything less than that is making all this an unnecessary waste of our time. Let's just get this trial thing moving. All you need. There's a movie called The Juror. There was a whole like book, a, a John Grisham book about this, where Alec Baldwin picked, I think uh, Demi Moore was the juror. And he basically was like, I'm going I'm to manipulate you to, to, to fix this trial. They ended up having a relationship. It got wild. My point is, you don't need a judge. You just need a couple, one juror. You don't need all the jurors. You just need one juror to be like not guilty. Why? Because I got a million dollars in my bank account. So uh, not guilty. And Carlo going home. I just. Or Mike should use it. Huh? And why is the dad like so obvious about him fucking with the judge? Like everybody sees this. In broad daylight, like, hey, judge, come here, come here. Right. Grandma senator is peeping y'all leaving the restaurant, like. And nobody else sees him though, huh? This 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 very famous local famous gangsters is it is in this restaurant and nobody sees him or pays attention that his that, that his son is on trial right now, but no one says anything but senator uh, mother in law. Hmm? I just anyway, we'll, we'll see what happens next week, man. We just. This shit needs to stop. Like, Baxter got to pay. That's it. That's it. When he when he stat when he kills one of those Baxters, that's all. That's the only thing that Eugene needs to say. Baxter's gotta pay. He just says it like just, as he stabs him. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He shanks one of them. Just walks away. Blood. And then he's on the street. He runs the streets now. No, maybe he'll have an ex. That's that's, that's the get on Webster. All assassins. <laughs> He moves to Cali and starts working for Carissa <laughs> and Sammy. <laughs> we're saying Eugene is, is, the, is the little murderer in House Divided. Season three is what we're saying. They're actually probably, they actually are the same size. Like he, that actually could be like his little brother or could be him. That would be hilarious. He's like, I got to get out of New Orleans. This, this, it's, it's too much, it's too much baggage here for me. Where you going, son? Cali. He just rides out. Cali. <laughs> This is his backstory. This is his origin story until he runs around with a mask and, a, and an axe and, <laughs> and a house divided. Oh man, this show's going to on too long. Um, but by, Brian Cranston, to his credit, like he is acting his ass off. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, every time he's giving those monologues, is like getting into the Baxter's head, get into the jury's head. Like, he is an amazing actor, and I give it to him. I'm like, I'm still seeing like Heisenberg, though. I'm still seeing him like. I am the one who knocks. Like he just talking his way through this shit, right? So all good for him. I mean, these are all great actors. They're just stretching this shit out too long. It's all it is. That's all I'm saying. Just like the undoing. Amazing cast, amazing show. The end is shitted on itself. And I'm like, you made this thing way too long. And and once you get that invested, the ending needs to be amazing or your, or your viewers are gonna be like completely let down. And I think that's what's gonna happen in this. We will be completely let down because it's taking too long to get to the end of this thing. Yeah, that that, that that pee better come back. Like I'm a guy about details. If you if you make me watch a man pee in a toilet and I gotta see the pee drop hit the toilet seat, that better be the one thing that ties this whole thing together. If I see this baseball one more damn time, this baseball may better be found in Adam's throat. That better be be the weapon that Fia uses to beat him to death over her brother. Like, that's what I need to see. Like, or I'm gonna be like, why are you wasting our time? And why is Eugene like, can you sell this baseball? You slinging drugs right now. You think she's gonna sell this baseball and all of a sudden you don't gotta sell drugs no more. You can move out and, and live off this baseball, son. You never know. I mean, you got your brother out of prison, which I still don't even know how that happened. I don't even know how that happened. And then I was like, okay, okay, wait. I was like, wait, wait, wait. 
maybe the baseball was in Adam's car. Okay. But like maybe the baseball came from Rocco and then like Adam picked it up, which would prove that Adam was there. But I'm like, Kofi was in the car. They could think Kofi got it when he killed when he killed Rocco. So I'm like, what does the baseball matter? Anyway, we'll see you next week, guys. It's just it's a lot, and somehow a little like it's it's oh shit, it's like too much and too little at the same time. I don't even know. Um, how you think's gonna die? Who's gonna live? Who's gonna live out this thing? Who's gonna die? Um, does anybody Michael got will be the last one standing? Who? Michael. You think so? <laughs> I think I think he might take one for his son though. He, he might he might be like Adam, Adam got to die. We, we Adam got to pay. Bax has got to pay. It's a die long and slow, miserable death. Hey hey, it'll be like the lie. Mike and Adam were in the house. The cops are at the door. <laughs> Super detective and the rest of the cops are at the door. But this time it does. It's, it's the murder suicide we were talking about. Mike Adam Adam kills Michael and just cuts his own throat and they just die right there. He takes he takes a selfie though before he does it though. He's like he's a, he's a he's a photographer right. So his dad's bleeding to death. He's like ching and then he just kills himself and he's like Dad we got to go out like this. Now he's gonna live stream it on Facebook. Oh that's good. That's good too. Maybe maybe I don't know man. Anyway uh if you still watching this video thank you uh we appreciate you uh, coming back every week. Um, why you still watch this show? Not us. Like, why do you watch like for uh, your honor? Like, let us know that in the comments. Why do you watch us talking about your honor? Let us know that. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. If you can like on the video, you can comment on the video, you can share the video. Um, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll do it again for the next episode. Just, it's just irritating. I, I don't want to see no. I, I swear to you, there will be no more COVID masks in the next two episodes. Like, th- this will be it. This also would be it, and I'll be even more irritated when it's not in the next episode. Oh, oh no. <clears throat> stop, stop the COVID. Just stop the COVID. It's not helping. No one's thinking, you know what? I got to wear a mask now because I saw it in your honor. So it's got to be a serious thing out there because the main actor's not even wearing it. What the? What are we doing? What are we doing? All right, guys. Later. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. As Jerry Springer says, I almost forgot. Take care of yourselves and each other. And now we have.